The Olympics are in town, Paris town to be specific, and what better way to celebrate the Olympics than to build a bunch of their sports venues in Minecraft. That's right folks, today I'm going to be creating tons of different arenas and stadiums for a bunch of Olympic sports that are being held during the 2024 Paris Olympics. So I hope you enjoy, and let's look at the magic spinning wheel to see which sports venue we will be making first. Alright, you saw the beautiful little spinny wheel vote for the field hockey stadium to be built first. And this is the, I'm not going to hopefully not butcher this, but I'm going to try my best. This is the Yves du Manois Stadium. Um, my French accent, not too good, but uh, that's what the name of the stadium is. This is the field hockey stadium, arena, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you'll notice it is field hockey, not ice hockey. There's not ice on the ground here. It is, uh, I some sort of turf um but it is not ice but we got this beautiful uh little grandstand section here and then these other seats added uh as well and this was a stadium that had previously existed on google earth when i was looking it was kind of like in disrepair from what i looked at um so it kind of looked run down a little bit but for the olympics i guess they got renovated and looking all fancy and beautiful and this thing turned out really nice. You can see on the outside, we got this nice little Olympic logo pattern here in the ground. And then I'm going to come in and add some trees and stuff. And not only are we building the stadium, we're actually building the entire complex, which is like an entire park area, like a like a, a, a field of uh, a bunch of different sports things you can play. So you can see I'm adding in a bunch of different things. We got some soccer fields here and stuff like that. And there we go, getting everything added in and looking very pretty, very nice. And it just keeps going and keeps going. And then right here, we're actually adding in a, um, a track and stuff like that. This is not just like, it's like a, I guess, a practice track. Nothing too crazy here. But we getting it added in, looking really nice, looking really beautiful. Got to add the greenery. Cannot have a beautiful stadium venue without some greenery. So there we go. And then I'm adding in all of the big floodlights that you can see as well and then this is like a modern sort of building i don't know what's in this building but it's right here nudged in between the soccer fields so it could be like some locker room type stuff i'm not 100 percent sure but here we go we're just adding some more and more and more things here so you can see it just keeps going and then this is actually one of the actually no i don't know what this is this might be just another little viewing building for the field but we're actually going to build another sort of venue for field hockey uh, i guess along with the one that we already built once we get these beautiful little greenery patches added in and we're gonna fly over here and i believe we're gonna get started on that right now yes so this is another sort of venue to watch field hockey we got this modern looking building very nice very cool looking so we got some little grandstands in there sheltered by the sun and look at this building. It's a pretty modern looking building. It's pretty well done. I'm really happy with how this bad boy turned out. Um, it took me a while to kind of get my head around how this building was supposed to look because it looks kind of interesting. Uh, and then I, I, I only had some renderings of this whole place. So I didn't have Google Earth or Google Maps to look at this thing. Um, I had to go off of the renderings because on Google Earth and Google Maps, they're not built yet. So I can't really use those uh for my measurements and my looking and stuff like that but there we go we got a big old fat stadium right there for field hockey and this whole venue turned out super freaking nice And here we go getting started with the Parc des Princes. This is the football slash soccer stadium. There are actually a bunch of uh, soccer stadiums being used in the Olympics, but this is just one of those stadiums. And I should take this time to mention that the stadiums and all these venues are 100% accurate, but the thing that's not accurate is their proximity to each other in this video because some of these stadiums are in completely different cities, not even in Paris. But for the video, I am putting them next to each other 
in this fun little arrangement of a bunch of stadiums. So uh, I think it turns out really cool in the end, but just keep in mind, this is not the arrangement of these stadiums at all in real life. These stadiums are, you know, miles apart in real life. So here we go anyways, getting the Parc des Princes built up. It's a unique little building. Uh, I mean, stadium, not a building, what? But it's got these fins on the outside here with going all the way around the stadium. I think it's a really nice touch. It's got this gray sort of look, and then it's got the overhang here so you don't uh, you don't get sunburn when you're watching soccer slash football. Uh, I'm going to say so soccer slash football for this entire video because I know people are going to comment about it. But here we are coming and detailing the front area and the area around it. The surrounding plazas uh, around these venues also are not accurate. The buildings themselves are accurate, but I wanted to put my little own touch on it. So these plazas are trying to kind of trying con to connect the stadiums into the world together. But there we go, Parque Princess. And next up, as you saw, we have Tennis, and this is the Roland Garros Stadium, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is actually a complex of a bunch of tennis courts, but I only went ahead and built the main biggest one here for this video, uh, and then I built a few little practice courts right next door, but it's mainly this big bad boy right here, you can see, and apparently not only tennis, but I guess they do boxing here, so that's cool, they do boxing in this arena as well but there we go we got this big beautiful stadium right here and it has a retractable roof so that's always fun and it's looking really nice and this is another arena that was modernized I don't know if it was modernized specifically for the Paris Olympics but it was redone renovated and made to look all brand new and modern um, and they are utilizing it for the Paris Olympics so there we go look at this bad boy it's turning out really really nice and then I'm going to add the top here this is the retractable roof right there and then I'm adding this nice little plaza around to make it look pretty and getting some bushes in because that's the way you gotta do it and then we're gonna come back here finally and add these nice little practice courts so uh, I'm happy with how this bad boy turned out. This is a cute little arena slash stadium. So there you go. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see what the spinning wheel has in store. Here we are getting started on one of the biggest stadiums in this video. This is the Stade de France. The France Stadium, I assume, is the translation there. But this is a stadium that's being used for, let's see, this is being used for track and field, I believe. So this is the running, the sprinting. Um, and then I guess all the other field stuff like uh, javelin and um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. That goes to show how well I know my field sports. I do know them. It's just blanking on me. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because of you guys are all watching me. But this is a big stadium you guys can see. We got three freaking levels of seating. We got the, you know, all the way down in the uh, lower level. We got the fancy seats all the way up to the nosebleeds up top. So this is a proper full stadium. And uh, this thing turned out really freaking nice. And similarly to a bunch of the other venues for this video, I did not know exactly what the theming and stuff was going to be for the stadium in real life because um, there were two different renderings that I looked at. One of them had the stadium like a purple sort of color theming, and then another rendering had a completely different color. Um, so I didn't know which one to go with because uh, they're kind of confusing me here. So I decided to just go with the purple uh, theming because, you know, I don't, it, it looks alright, it looks pretty cool. So that's what I went with, and this is what it's going to look like in the end. And this bad boy turned out pretty nice, and it has a really interesting roof uh, here. It's got this flat roof with these sort of supports coming all around. And um, 
they're uh, supported by cables here you can see me building and uh, there we go and it's symmetrical so I only had to build one quarter of the roof I could just copy it over with world edit there we go the magic of world edit savings time since freaking 2013 um, and then it has this nice little glass thing in the center area there to block out the sun and then we're coming down here and adding in the lower level here the exterior these stairs and stuff and then we're gonna add some signs and whatnot and uh, oh yes some more cable supports don't want this roof falling over so there we go and this is a big freaking stadium as you guys can see I'm really happy with how this thing turned out especially this plaza here even though this plaza is not a part of the actual stadium like I said earlier the plazas are custom just trying to make it fit into the world a little more flush uh, but then I added this Olympic logo here in the corner. I thought that's a nice touch. I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with how it turned out. So there we go. There is the Stade de France. Um, let's move on to the next venue. Spinny wheel, what's it going to be? And here we are going into the cycling venue. Woohoo! Cycling. That's not a very much thought about sport in the Olympics. There are a bunch of sports that aren't really thought about, but this uh, is, I'm sorry, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce this stadium venue name in respect for the people of France. Uh, I don't want to butcher their language, and I'm not even going to attempt it. So um, here we go. We got this nice looking arena here, and this is the first building or venue in this video that actually has an inside so you're gonna see me building the inside of this cycling arena it's got a nice little track uh with the where the cyclists kind of go around and do their racing and do their fun stuff but here we are i'm detailing the outside with this little parking lot and some trees around the arena just to make it look nice and fit into the world but here's the inside like i said i'm building the inside of this one and you can see this is the central area and the wood section is actually the track that the cyclists ride around and then I'm going to go on the outside of this track and add in the little seating areas so this is a cute little building I had fun building this one it kind of looks like a Pringle from the outside if you look at it from above but that's all right it's a, it's a cool looking building I'm really happy with how this one turned out so there we go All right, we're coming back with another football slash soccer stadium. Um, this is an interesting one. I'm building two soccer stadiums uh, just because there's a lot of soccer stadiums and I didn't want to just build one. Um, it might be a little unfair for the other sports, but I don't care. This is the uh, Leon Stadium. Is in It is in Leon, like the name suggests. And this is not even in Paris. This is many, many miles away from the rest of the other venues. So like I said, this is... Um, very far away and um, so here we go this is a nice looking stadium it's got a nice pattern here in the seating arrangements here and then it has some words here on the um, on the side of the stadium I don't know what they mean I don't know what they say but there we go and this is an interesting one because this is probably the reason why I wanted to build this one specifically the roof here is a super interesting looking roof it's kind of like this geometric shape here and uh, there we go look at that you can see how it looks and I'm really happy with how this thing turns out with all these roof designs here with these uh, polygons and such and I think it turns out really freaking nice it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to which uh, I'm really happy about and uh, there we go we got the down uh, lower level stuff there and very nice
But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all these venues. I know there are a ton of more venues that are being used for the Olympics, but I can't build them all realistically. I tried to get a mix of well-known and more vague arenas and venues in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see a certain stadium or something that I didn't build. Maybe I can get to making it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And also check out my Patreon if you would like to download this map and look around all the arenas and stadiums that I've built today. And speaking of Patreon, let me give a big thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for supporting me. And especially a big thank you to my $10 supporters, Mario Jimenez, Gopnik Kataru, Bowie, Walker Army, and King Salmon. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the next video on my channel. And until then, goodbye!